Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Buddy Fit by Amy and this is your Dumbbell Strength and Cardio Tabata Workout. This is day 19 of your Momentum Challenge. In this workout, we are going to be working in the Tabata format of 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest in four minute rounds using your dumbbells. We'll alternate between some strength, back to basic rounds, and some dumbbell cardio rounds. Don't worry, I'll give you lots of options, so listen to your body and be where you are today. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's get started with a warm up. I just want you to get your body moving. You can march it, jog it, run it, whatever is good for you. Let's roll those shoulders. We are gonna keep this warm up short. So please, if you need more of a warm up, get it on your own. You can check out the links in the description below for my extended warm up and extended cool down. We are gonna get just a few minutes of some movement prep, mobility moves, a dynamic warm up we call it, to get our bodies ready to do this workout. Let's just take it one at a time as you keep that march going. Let's try to loosen up through those shoulders, the back, everything that might be tight, maybe from your work week, from everything you do day in and day out. Let's open up the arms just here to here and then step out into it. So today we are working in the Tabata format. So that is 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest right here. Reach, four minute rounds. If you've done Tabata with me before, you know I always say it moves fast, but it moves fast. So each Tabata round, We'll have two exercises. Let's roll through our back and round it up. And that you will alternate back and forth. The way the strength and cardio comes in, hold it here, roll those shoulders, is we will have one round of Tabata, two exercises that are more isolations, back to basics, strength-based, and then one that is a little more, let's reach it up and reach it down. And then we're gonna take it to that squat and hinge. Your second round after that, right here, we're gonna squat it. We're gonna hinge it. It's going to be more of your cardio, but it's strength and cardio, right? So it will be more compound movements, things where we maybe go a little bit lighter on our weights, where we get more things working at once to keep the heart rate up. So let's keep reaching it down. If it feels good for you, walk it out to that high plank. If that's not right for you, you just keep that little hinge. Inch, warm it out, all the way through, warming up through the spine, walk it back. I am gonna give you options, hold it here, and if you can, press up into that down dog. If that's not right for you, you stay upright, and just keep getting that little stretch. I will give you options, including if you are pregnant or early postpartum healing a diastasis, so follow those modifications if that is for you. There are many reasons to modify that have nothing to do with fitness level. Let's just tap it up and tap it back. Reach it up and tap it back. So, you be where you are today. If you need to modify or take a different option for whatever reason, you do you. The only thing that matters today, let's hold it here. If you can, take that hand down, walk that foot away, reach it up, drop that back knee. If you need to keep this upright, keep it upright and reach through. The only thing that matters is that you showed up. You showed up, you are successful. Let's step it in. Same thing, other side, let's open it up. You need to stay here, stay here, otherwise take it down. Reach it up, walk that front foot away, drop that knee. Really feel that stretch to the hips and then reach under and up, under and up, one more and step it through. Round it up right here. Let's finish off with a little cardio warm up to get that heart rate up as we continue to stretch out and open it up. All right, so we have six circuits. They're only four minutes. They are going to go fast, I promise. Again, one round. Your first round will be a strength-based circuit. Back to basics, isolations. I will give you some options to mix it up as the round goes on but you can always stick with the most basic option. Those will just be things like angles, ways to make it a little different for your body if you want. And then we will have your next 
round will be your cardio round, but it will be strength cardio, it will be dumbbell cardio, it will be compound moves to get your heart pumping. Let's take it here. I think you're gonna have a good time with it. I think all of it will challenge your muscles, all of it will get your heart rate up for cardio, and I think you're gonna leave this workout feeling good. All right, so go ahead and shake it out. Grab those weights. You can go heavy on this one. We're gonna start with your basic row. Roll those shoulders back, hinge it here, row it up just like that. Then we've got your stationary side lunge, here to here. Go ahead, grab those weights, get in your row position. Your 20 seconds starts now. Bring it up, drop it down, squeeze in those shoulder blades. Remember, if you need to, you can put one foot back, but we want that nice flat back. Pull those shoulder blades in. Again, you can go heavy on this one because we're isolating. Last one, and breathe. Take those feet out nice and wide. It is a stationary side lunge. So I just want you to shift your weight, center, shift your weight. Here we go. Dumbbells can go on either side. Come up through the center, here to here. You're shifting into that hip, pushing through the side. It's a hinge, then drive it up. Good, two more. See, these rounds are so quick. Yes, and relax. All right, let's get it done again. Let's keep with that regular row. Shoulders back, core engaged, hinge it. Here we go. Up and down. What you to think about bringing those weights towards the hips. Again, what we're trying to avoid is that round in the lower back. So if you need to get a little lower, take it here. Again, if you need to stagger it, or you can even go down to all fours. Sometimes that's really helpful in keeping that back flat. Three, two, one, shake it out. Side lunge. Again, our goal is to be nice and wide. Shift that weight. I can feel that heart rate already, right? Here we go. Side and up. You can even put your dumbbells here if you wanna touch it down. It is a hinge from the hips, but it's a squat motion through the legs, right? Here, all the way up. Shift your weight. Two more. If you need to, give yourself a quick break. Give your hands a break. We're gonna go to that row. If you wanna take it wider, you can, but you don't have to. Just an option. Grab those weights. Three, two, one. Hinge, wide, and up. Squeeze. What we don't wanna do is feel like we have to come up with that. So if we're here and you feel like you wanna go here, let's keep it low, keep it close. If you can, it's just a little different angle, just giving you options. Last two minutes, three, two, one, and relax. If you want this time, you can step into that side lunge. Otherwise, keep it stationary in three, two, one. So just by the sheer nature, even though we are doing isolations, back to basics. Just by how quickly we move through these Tabata intervals, that is how we get that heart pumping, right? You feel it, I know, me too. So it's cardio, no matter what we do. Relax and breathe. This is your last round. If you wanna have palms forward, supinated grip, up and down, up to you. Three, two, one, here we go. Last 20 seconds with the row, so make it good. Your isolating round. And breathe, squeeze. Yes. Shoulder blades in. Hot. Flat back. Shoulder blade three, two, one. Relax. Last round with that side lunge. I know those weights are feeling heavy in your hands, but let's get it down. Step into it. Keep it stationary. Whatever is good for you. Three, two, one. Last 20. In between these Tabata rounds. We're gonna get one minute of a break to catch our breath, to grab some water, and that's where I talk you through your next round. Otherwise, we're gonna go straight through. If you need more of a break, you can always hit pause. You do you, last one. Set those weights down. Grab a sip of water. My water's over here. There you have it, folks. That was your strength round, I know, but you feel that cardio, right? I know I do especially when we're going heavy with those weights. So, you have the option just to keep it moving if you just wanna step, step touch, march, whatever is good for you. Watch me here. We're gonna go a little lighter with these weights. 
I'm gonna go for my tens, but I'm gonna have my fives close by. Watch me. We're gonna do a plie squat. I'm gonna have my hands here. I'm gonna rotate them out. So it really is a plie curl, but I'm going here to here. So we're getting a bicep curl, but it's gonna feel a little different. Here to here, we get a little bit of that shoulder, right? Then we're gonna take it to a curtsy. Gonna move the whole time. You're gonna tap behind, reverse fly. If that feels too heavy for you, you just take it wide row like we just did, right? Let's get it done. Grab those weights. You got 10 seconds to breathe. It's a plie circle curl. In three, two, one. Here we go. So a little lighter on the weights, but now we're doing compound movements, right? They're gonna get things working together. If this feels too weird for you, you just take a regular plie and curl. That's good too. And also just take it here, here, last one, and breathe. We're just aiming to get that rotation through shoulders and your wrists. All right, so we're curtsy lunge. If your legs need a break, you just tap behind, or if you need to modify. And then flat back, it's a wide reverse fly. Let's get it done. Here we go. Ha! I talked too long. Ha! Cross. So watch me, I want you to take your time to get into it, then nice and wide. Up, chest goes low. So what we're doing these first two rounds, we're getting a lot of lower body and we're getting a lot of that pull motion, right? Our rows, our flies, our curls. Woo, breathe. Sorry guys, I got us off on our time. All right, let's get it done. All right, we'll get that full 10 seconds, don't worry. We'll get it done. We'll get back on track here. Plie, circle curl, ready. Here we go. Take it up. So I'm rotating with my wrist, zipping up in that core, especially as I come up, connecting to that pelvic floor. Again, if that's too weird, just keep regular curl. Last three, two, one, relax. 10 seconds, curtsy, reverse fly or wide row, or just your curtsy. You can always cut one thing out. Three, two, one, here we go, down. Step it through, get low in the curtsy, wide on that reverse fly. Here, you need to go lighter, go lighter. But stay with me. This is where we really get that heart pumping. Last one. Yes, two minutes down, two to go. These last two minutes, can you get a little lower in the curtsy? A little lower in the plie? Can you keep those arms working? Let's get it done. Three, two, one, here we go. How about this time? You just keep them, don't rotate that wrist. Go here to here, in and out. Yes, you can. Through and squeeze. Three, two, one. Yes, ah, feeling it, I know. Step in that curtsy. If you want, you can always do one at a time. Here we go. Get low, fly. Step it up, get low, and here, here. So again, we're not moving quick like we would if we were doing traditional cardio like a jumping jack, right? But because we're getting so many things working together, we are working that heart rate. All right, last round, let's get it done. Woo. Here we go, same thing, curl and rotate. Ready, here we go. Take it out. So instead of rotating all the way, you're just bringing those palms in together. Woo! Yes, team. Yes, you can. I know, I feel it too. All the way through. Three, two, core. One, breathe. All right, very last thing before we get a breather. Curtsy, wide row. You choose what you wanna focus on. If you wanna get low in the legs, wide in the arms, let's do it. Here we go, last 20. I'm gonna turn my palms to the back. Whoo, little different, right? Yes, so close. Three, two, last one. Yes, weights down. Whoo, shake it out. Thumbs to the back. Whoo, swing those arms because that's probably what you're feeling the most. All right, grab a sip of water. Good work, team. I don't know, I felt the equal cardio on both because I was going so much heavier the first round. 
Okay, team. You tap it out and breathe. Right here. Woo. Watch me. We're going core. We got two rounds of core. That was a lot of upper and lower. So we got our windmill. It is up to you. You're gonna go all on one side. We're gonna take it here and bring it in so we get a little press. That's your isolation. If you need to, you can just keep it low. Just one low or one high. We'll get all in one side and then the other. And then we've got our knee in plank. If you're modifying, keep it standing with a weight here to here. If you're not, take it here, knee comes in. I'll talk you through it. Let's grab those weights. Get set, ready, here we go. So you're here, all on one side. If you don't wanna do the press, you wanna just keep a low windmill, that works too. Take it here, still get that stretch. Or if you wanna just do a high windmill, another option right here. You can do both. You're gonna get that extra three, two, one. Here's what we got, we're gonna get that other side, then we'll get two rounds of the knee and plank. So let's get the other side. A little different this round, but you can do it. Three, two, one. Look up at the weight, turn that toe out, reach. And up, yes. Bring it in again. You can always just do the low, just here, or just do the high. Three, two, one. Relax. If you're taking it to the mat, take it to the mat. If you're keeping it standing, one dumbbell. Your knees are here. Pregnant mamas, DR early post, take it there. Otherwise, join me here. Here we go. Slow, knee in. It's not a mountain climber. I want you to focus on the core. Tuck that pelvis in and up. So hips to ribs, everything is pulling in, especially as that knee comes in. Little lift of the hips. Breathe. Yes, you can. Three, two, one. Stretch it back. Stay standing if that's where you are. Otherwise, we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna take those knees across. Get a little twist. Get set up. Three, two, one. Here. Aiming to get that elbow, knee towards the opposite elbow. And again, tuck in that pelvis, little lift. <sighs> Breathe. Core focused. You got it. You can keep the toe down. We're off the ground. Three, two, one. Back up top. We got exactly that one more time. Right side windmill, left side windmill. Grab those weights. And then we got our knees in. Three, two, one. Here we go. Take it here, bring it in, yes. And up. Really think about that core, think about that stretch you're getting. This is your isolation round. Yes, you can. Last one. Yes, arms and abs on both. Don't worry, we'll get back to those legs. Catch your breath, turn that toe out. Ready, here we go. Remember, you can always just do one dumbbell low, one dumbbell high, or both. Take your time, we're not rushing this. Breathe, yes. Keep it going. Last one, all the way through. Good work, stay standing if you need to, knees in, either here, and then cross it. Otherwise, join me here, we're gonna add a little lift. Ready, here we go, start with those knees in. If you want, little lift of the hips. Little pike with it, but still controlled. We're not taking it to a mountain climber. I really want you to focus on that core. Lift of the hips, shoulders are right above those elbows and those wrists. Three, two, one, wherever you are, stretch it out. Get set up, taking the knees across. Same thing, we can add a little more twist, or we can keep it simple. Three, two, Core, here we go. Tap it down if you want, or off the ground. If you want more of that twist, turn your body. It's only 20 seconds. Wherever you are, you can do it. Yes. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Ha! Ah, you did it. Catch your breath, grab some water. Woo! I don't have a towel in here today, but for the first time in a long time, I really need it. It is hot here, and I'm able to actually push myself. First real strength workout after my skin surgeries. Okay, team, so keep it moving. If you want, roll those hips. 
Roll those arms. If you want a little cardio mobility, watch me here. We're gonna jump right in. All right, here is your standing core cardio. We're gonna do a wood chop and a cross. Wood chop and a cross. We'll get both sides. Then we're gonna go circle, rainbow, side knee. Rainbow, side knee. If you want, you can take a little plie with it. It is up to you. The goal is cardio, core, and upper body. Grab one weight. You want medium to heavy. Your chop, remember, can be hip to shoulder or really twisted, and then bring that knee across. All right, cross knee. Second, what is side knee? Get set up. 20 seconds each side. In three, two, one. Here we go, 20 seconds. Chop and knee. Take it, chop. Pivot on those knees and hips. So watch me, I'm turning. Even if you're just going hip to shoulder, you're still pivoting knees and hips. You can pick up your feet, pick them up, pick them up, whatever you got. Here, and breathe. Let's get the same thing. Other side, this is another right side, left side, right side, left side. Three, core engage, two, one. Here we go, chop, and knee. Take it, chop. I want this to be controlled for you. If you feel like you're feeling it too much in your back, or you don't feel controlled, I want you to slow it down and bring it in. Hip, shoulder, knee. You're still gonna get the cardio if you're here. Slow it down if you need to. Last one. And breathe, yes! All right, we're gonna keep those arms working. If you need to, drop the weight. Otherwise, big circle. Rainbow circle. Here we go. Take it down. Take it down. You can keep it circle close to your body. Or high. high. Yes! This is where the heart rate comes in again. If you need to drop the weight, circle the arms. Breathe. Three, two, one. We're gonna do the same thing one more time. Try it with the weight. If you need to go body weight, go for it. I'm gonna keep it body weight. Careful on the shoulder. Three, two, one. Circle. Low to high. Again, you can keep that weight close to your body. Or take it up. Yes. Breathe. Legs, arms, and abs, all of it together. Whew. Three, two, and one. Cardio, cardio. Whew. All right, let's get it all done again. Chop, knee, chop, and cross knee both sides. Here we go. Three, two, one. Chop, cross knee. Chop, cross knee. Again, controlled, not swinging. It's controlled, core obliques, arms. Core obliques, arms. Last one, yes, and breathe. Let's keep that heart rate up. Let's get that other side, almost done. With this round, here we go. Take off, chop, and cross. Chop, and cross. I don't know why I was angling that way. Sometimes I wanna show you guys, but I think it's easier. Again, if you need to keep it close to your body, hip, Shoulder, cross knee, hip, shoulder, whoo. Last one, yes, and breathe. All right, we got our rainbow side knee. Let's get it done with or without the weight, whatever is best for where you are today. In three, two, one, rainbow side knee, rainbow. Close to your body, right in front of the chest, little circle, or take it big. I guess it's a circle side knee, not really a rainbow, right? Around the world. Yes, three, two, one. I'm gonna do this last round, no weight. If that's you, let's see if we can pick up our pace. Otherwise, keep the weight going, keep that core working. Arms, abs, legs, here we go. Breathe, yes. We do not have to be jumping or running to get good cardio, right? I'm always gonna put it in your workout one way or another. Three, two, one, and breathe. Two thirds of the way down. These last two are gonna go fast. Grab a quick sip of water. Woo! All right, we're back to upper and lower, isolating. You're gonna like this isolation. Watch me while you catch your breath. If you want, you can just do some knees, just like this. Keep it moving. Watch me. 
Woo. Heavy weights, if you got them. We're going kickstand deadlift. We're here, you're angled. You're here and up. We're gonna get all on the right side. We'll get all on the left side. So really think about the back of those legs, squeezing those glutes. Then we drop one dumbbell carefully. We're going press triceps two times. Our last round with that, we're going straight up tries. All right, go ahead, grab those weights. I want you to get set up in that kickstand deadlift. So you're only ho holding the two for the first two rounds. It's train tracks, not tightrope. You're here, roll those shoulders back, core is engaged, that back leg is literally just a kickstand. Watch me one time, down in front, push up through that heel. Three, two, one, here we go for 20. Isolation. So back to basics, really focus. If that is too much for you, for where your body is today, you just take it with that regular hinge and deadlift, right? You're here and up. Drive through that front heel. Yes, breathe, relax, shake it out. Turn to that other side, get set up, core engaged, shoulders back, it's a hinge, weight stay close to the front of your body, here we go. Back leg is just that kickstand, right? You're pushing through that front heel. Really focus on those hamstrings and glutes. Come up strong, down slow, power up. Here we go. And up, yes you can. Last one. And breathe carefully. Set one, weight down, grab the other. We got two hands on it, so heavy ones. Press, tries, ready. Here we go. Up, over behind your head and down. Take it up. And here. Up. If you feel like you're arching your back, one foot back. Remember, we're only doing the press on this first circuit. Last one, and then we'll isolate those tries. All right, one more time. Same thing. Press, tries, one more set of 20 seconds. Then we're back to that kickstand. Three, two, one. Here we go. Up, over, elbows in. If it's easier for you to have two lighter ones, take it there. You can go up, behind. Sometimes that's easier to keep those elbows in. You do you. But it's back to basics, so make it good. Focus on that form. Relax. Shake it up. All right, you can keep that kickstand, or if you're feeling good about that balance, you take it to the one-legged. Bend both those knees, let's get it done. Grab those weights, three, two, one, here we go. Here, to here, or kickstand, whatever is better for you. Sometimes I like to turn my heavy weights like this, so I can actually touch the floor, core engage, zip up that core. Kickstand is fine too. Last one. Breathe, stretch it out, right? Other side, let's get it done. Zip up that core, kickstand or one leg. Ready, here we go. So you're either here or here. Up to you, find that spot out in front of your body, out on the floor, but out in front. Focus on a spot that's not moving. Bend, slight bend in that front leg, it's not straight. Last one. Yes, relax, Woo, shake that out. One dumbbell, we got straight up tries for two rounds, let's make them burn. Three, two, up. Here we go, elbows in, triceps. Really think about back of the arms, I want you to go all the way down. That doesn't feel good for you, add the press back in. And think about that core too, everything's engaged, yes and breathe. All right, what can you do this last round? I'm gonna go with my two lighters to make it more challenging. Let's get it done. Three, two, one. Here we go, one foot back. Elbows in, looks like this. All the way down, not cheating in here. Try to get all the way down. I know that's where we feel it. Five, four, three, ah, one. Yes, you did it. Shake that out. Woo. Modified jack, take it here. Grab some water. Ha, huh. here we go. Guess what team, last round. Let's get it done. We got four minutes. That is all we need. All right, it's gonna be tricky. You keep that modified if you want. 
So either high pull or snatch into a lunge. So watch me, your high pull is up, and then you're gonna lunge it back. Then switch, up, lunge it back. If you can do the snatch, if you feel comfortable, remember it's coming close to your body, power it up, lunge it here, I'll give you an option. Alternating up to you. You can also just take it just with the lunge if you want. Then we grab our second one. We've got our swing into our curl, into our squat. So ski your, ski your swing, you're gonna prep it, bring it up, curl, squat, take it up. Swing, curl, squat. That doesn't feel good for you, you just curl and squat. Grab one heavy weight, have the other one close by. High pull or snatch, 20 seconds. Here we go. High pull, lunge it, drop it down. High pull, lunge, or snatch it. Take it up. Yes. Take it up. Woo. Here we go. Last one. And relax. Bend your knees to grab that second one. Every time, we're gonna put it down and bring it up, so make sure you have good form. Swing it, curl it. Here we go. Ski your swing, curl, squat. Take it, swing, curl. So as you drop that weight, Give yourself that momentum. Again, if that doesn't feel good for you, you just curl, squat. Yes, last one. Good, breathe. Bend your knees, drop one weight. Get ready for that snatch or that high pull. This last one's a doozy, but you can do it. Stay with me, here we go. Snatch. If you want what I just did, snatch into that lunge if you feel comfortable as you power up. Woo. Yes, burn. But if that's not right for you, high pull and lunge. High pull and lunge. Ha. Bend your knees, grab that weight. Ski your swing, curl, squat. You can always just pick one if that's where you are. Ready, here we go. Swing, squat, yes. Let it drop, power it up. So it's a swing clean, right? Swing, clean, squat. Swing, clean, yes. Last one, breathe, ah. Catch your breath, set one weight down. Two minutes down, two to go, we are so close. What do you have on this? Show me in three, two, one. Snatch and lunge, or snatch it up. Then lunge it, you're gonna really challenge your core that way. Even with that high pull, you're challenging the core, right? High pull, whoo, yes you can. High pull, and breathe. Swing, clean, squat. If you're feeling ambitious, you can add a press at the top. Totally up to you. Here we go, power, swing, clean, squat, and press. Swing, clean. I know we did a lot of presses, a lot of shoulders, so up to you. I'm just gonna keep the squat. Breathe. Last one. I know, why did we save this to the end? Last round. What do you got? I wanna see you get low in the lunge. Powering the snatch or high pull. Three, two, one. Here we go. Snatch. Lunge, you don't have to do it all one fluid movement. You do you. Take it up. Whew. Yes, team. I know, I feel myself dragging, so I'm gonna slow it down. So I can really make sure I have good form. Take it up. Yes, breathe. Last thing of the circuit. Let's get it done. Three, two, one. Ha. Swing, power. I know, it's a lot. So feel free to leave something out. But remember, last one of the circuit. Yes, can you get one more wherever you are? Yes, you can. Boom, ha, catch your breath, team. Woo, weights to the side. I know, I knew that last round was gonna be challenging. That's why we have those isolations. All right, yes, we do have time for a bonus move. I wanna give you a second 
Get that heart rate coming down. We got one minute. It's a fun one. No weights. Watch me. We're gonna go out, cross, out, cross. If that's gonna mix up your feet, you just tap and tap, all right? Then you can keep it there or take it back here, cross, push up, cross, push up, pop it up, all right? You got it. If you want, you just stay up top, cross, cross, and then cross it over on the plank, push it up, either knees or toes. If that's not right for you, you stay high. We got one minute. You can do it, stay with me. Three, two, one, here we go. Out, cross, out, cross. Take it low. You got push up, cross, push up, cross. Pop it in, take it up. Yes, out, cross, cross. I don't want anybody to feel unstable. So if the cross is too weird for you, I want you just to tap it over. The idea is to get your obliques working. So remember, you can just be here and take it low. Then out, out, take it low, yes. Or out, cross, wherever you are, finish it strong. Push up, cross, push up, cross, yes. Last one, whoo, sweat my eyes. Whew. Here we go, cross it, cross it. Three, two, one. You did it. <laughs> Woo. Sweat, sweat. Usually I have a towel somewhere in here. And I got nothing, y'all. Whoo. Breathe. Shake it out. I know. I know. Whoo. If you've been doing this momentum challenge, a lot of our workouts have been a little longer, and you guys have rocked it. I know. It's been fun. It's been different, but you got it. Okay, shake it out. Whew. Take it here. Take it here. Roll those shoulders. Press behind. Whew. Sweat everywhere. I hope you are feeling good, because you rocked that. Not easy, right? We love Tabata because we can do anything for 20 seconds, right? But that was a lot, right? That, especially that last round was your true hit to bottom, right? All of it was, but true hit in the sense that we kept that heart rate up the whole time. You got that quick 10 seconds of rest, but you did it. I'm so proud of you and I hope you were proud of yourself. Remember if that felt hard, because you were working hard. If that was challenging for you, it's because you showed up to challenge yourself and you got it done. Thumbs to the back, grab them if you can. Whew. Originally I had one more round planned, but I cut that completely before we even started because I knew it was gonna be too long and that we would really get it in with that last round and that bonus move. Take it up, stretch it over. Whew. Please make sure you check all the information in the comments. I would love to have you join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club, especially if you feel stuck if you feel like you want to heal your relationship with food and with exercise, if you want to find the joy, you want to stop counting calories, stop worrying about the things that don't matter and start thinking about the things that do matter, like your health, your strength, all of it. Let's take those fingertips to the back. If you can, hand on the wall, grab it here. If that's too much for you, just tilt it forward. But that is where you have direct access to me, to Vivian, our body fit dietitian and an incredible supportive group of body fitters from around the world. People are making amazing progress, not just physically, but emotionally, mentally. That is what we are about. We wanna find the joy and the why, the purpose in everything that we're doing, showing up for ourselves. So join us there. Let me know if you have any questions. And of course, like this video and subscribe. When you subscribe, that helps me keep making these free workouts for you here on YouTube. Make sure you're on my email list. Check the link below to get your free monthly and weekly workout calendars and so you never miss a beat with Body Fit by Amy. You know when these new workouts are coming out. You know when something live is coming up most Saturdays, but not all. 
And of course, follow me at Body Fit by Amy on social media. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Let's get those fingertips down again and really stretch through here. We didn't spend enough time there. Ha! Ah, from that grip, a lot of gripping weights for a long amount of time, right? So my Tabata gets a little tricky with weights, but it is worth it, right? Not tricky, but just a long time to be holding heavy weights. Ah, hopefully you enjoyed that with the back to basics one round, compound on the second. I hope you felt it in your muscles, in your heart rate, in those endorphins. I hope you are leaving this workout feeling better than when you started. I know I am. Roll those shoulders, tap it out. Whew. Thank you so much for being here with me today, for showing up for yourself, for showing up for those in your life that you love. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell strength and cardio Tabata workout. Great job, everybody.